All right, this is a daily encouragement devotional for today, Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. And the scripture comes from Hosea chapter 11, verse 8, New King James. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I set you like Zeboim? My heart churns within me. My sympathy is stirred. Greater love has no man is the title of today's uh, devotional. This prophecy reminds many people of the parable of the prodigal son as they think about Hosea's prodigal wife. Certainly in both stories, the heart of God is revealed. The prodigal's father is filled with compassion as he sees him a long way off. Here in this divine soliloquy, we come face to face with the reality of which the parable is such a perfect picture. How can I give you up, Ephraim? All my compassion is aroused. The divine love which is revealed in the parable and in the prophecy is love to love to the utterly unworthy and ungrateful. Whether we think of Gomer in the slave market, the sun in the far country, or Israel as a rebellious child. The dilemma of God's love is more than hinted at. How can I hand you over, Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I make you like Zeboim? The latter had been cities in the plain, which had been destroyed in the same righteous judgment as Sodom's. Does not Israel, do not all men deserve similar judgment? Neither prophecy nor parable can convey a full answer to this dilemma. Only the demonstration of God's love at Calvary, as described in Romans 5, verse 8. And on a personal note, after hearing a pastor's message on the story of Hosea being directed by God to take the adulterous Gomer as his wife, as an example of God's undying love for Israel, caused me to pose the question. Because Jesus said, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends, then how much greater is the love of one who would lay down his life for his enemies? Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates his own love towards us, and that while we were still sinners, enemies of God, Christ died for us. Jesus implied that a man might have such great love for a friend that he would willingly give his life. The verse just prior to Romans 8, Romans 5, 8, verse 7, For scarcely a righteous man will one die. For a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, some would, would even dare to die. Implies that no man has it within him to give his life for his enemies. Only God is capable of that kind of love. But that doesn't let us off the hook. For now that his Holy Spirit dwells in us, we may be called to make such a sacrifice. And 2 Timothy 1 verse 12 says, For I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him until that day. All right, and the link is there if you want to check it out. And there's a couple links to uh, some really great worship songs. There's one from uh, Fountain View Academy. They uh, kind of livened up an old hymn. I know in whom I have. Be- I know whom I have believed. Um, they kind of give it some new life. And then there's another uh, Cody Carnes' "Run to the Father." Uh, good worship songs. And then there's a link there for the Daily Bread. I'm not doing the recording of that anymore, but it's there if you want to check it out. They do have. Uh, an audio webcast on their website. All right, lots of good resources on that website if you want to check them out. So, all right, so you guys have a great day. All right, take care. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.